Hello, in this video, John's going to show you how to sow broad bean seeds for you to bring on indoors before planting out later on in the spring. We currently have a sunny February day. February, March is a good time of year to do it. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now, and on this channel, we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills, whether it's showing you some propagation techniques, sowing some vegetables, a little bit of pest control. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider following us by pushing the subscribe button. There's no charge, and don't forget to press the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to be looking at sowing more broad beans. Now, you will recall that we sowed broad beans back in November and we had some growing outside. To be honest, they didn't do very well this year. Broad beans haven't had a good year generally, I think. Um, so we're going to try some uh, a, a later crop. We could have sown some a little bit earlier, but now uh, I'm going to sow some to come on and give us uh, a crop later on. The trouble with growing these later crops is they do tend to get the black fly quite badly. Um, the autumn ones miss the black fly, but uh, we'll risk it and, we, and we're going to grow for some. Uh, uh, I'm going to do these individually because I uh, don't want to disturb them when they're, when they're being trans uh, transplanted. So I've actually cut one of my big trays in half because I don't want more than half a dozen. And I also want to do some runner beans, so they'll do the other half. So here we are, we fill this up with, uh, with, with compost. This is really quite a, quite a straightforward job. Um, we don't have much in the way of trouble with these because the beans are actually quite large. Um, I'm using Agridulce here again because I think it's a really good, good form. It does, does really, really very well. And uh, uh, in this case, it's simply a matter of taking quite a large uh, seed like that. Look them through, actually. That one's been, got, that one's been attacked by something. See, there's a little weevil's been on that one. So we'll put that one to one side. Um, that one looks all right, so I'm pushing it right in on its end, down, about halfway down. If you, if you get seeds covered by their own depth of soil, so if you've got that as your bean and you've got that depth of soil on top, that's about right. So we're just going to go around popping them in like that, pushing the soil back on top. I don't think I need to bother with uh, anything in the way of um, vermiculite on these. They can go right in there. Um, and in there. The beauty of broad beans is that they are hardy, so as soon as these come through, they'll be able to go into the garden, or hardened off and go out into the garden, and even if there's a slight frost, it won't, won't, won't kill them. There we go, so push that one quite in, just push the soil back around it, compost back around it, and then we go, and there. I've got about a dozen nice broad beans coming on as well. And again, and again. Some people put two in. Um, I think they often develop better on their own. Uh, and seed's quite expensive, so I'm not really wanting to rush to put too much on. But there we are, more in the way of broad bean. In it goes, cover the top off, and that's done. And those now need to go in a warmish place to germinate. So there we are, lots of different forms of, of, of broad beans. I tend to use this one because I like it. I've used it for many years, it does well. But I'm not saying that others won't. You may have your own favorites uh, and go for what you like. Whatever you, end, you do though, you end up with a lovely vegetable, one of my favorite vegetables. And it's a very good source of vitamin B1, folate and fiber. Well, thank you so much for joining us here in Somerset today. We've really enjoyed having you. If you fancy learning more about the courses we run, the link is on the screen at the moment. It's also in the description below. If you'd like to follow us, do push subscribe. There's no charge. Don't forget to ding the notification bell. And we look forward to seeing you next time.